Hi friends, this question is from part test 2. Operating, subject name is operating system and the topic name is deadlocks and it is of one mark. Consider a resource allocation environment in which processes P1 and P2 are holding resource R2 and R1 respectively. After some amount of time, P1 generates a request for R1 and P2 generates a request for R2. First, let us understand these three lines. What they gave? Consider a resource allocation environment in which the process P1 and P2 are holding R resources R2 and R1. First, we will write process P1. It is holding from these three lines, we understood that process P1 holds resource R1. Pro, sorry, process P1 holds resource R2. So, we have to draw arrow mark from process R, R, resource R2 to process P1. After this, what, is, what it is holding? Process P2 is holding resource R1. Arrow mark from R1 to P2. After that, after some amount of time, P1 generates a request for R1. That means from P1, there is a request for R2. Sorry, for R1. And P2 generates a request for R2. Request. Resource cannot be forcible to taken away from one process to satisfy the request of another process. Resources R1 and R2 are read-only files. That is, these are shareable files. Which of the following condition is dissatisfied in the described deadlock-free environment? So, first we have to know what is meant by hold and wait? It is nothing but a, there must be a process that is holding a request that is holding a resource and it is waiting for the additional resource which is currently being held by the nether process. That is nothing but a, let us uh, from this di from this diagram we will see that process P1 is holding R2 but it is requesting for R1 it is nothing but hold and wait next one no preemption it is nothing but resource that are allocated to a process cannot be preempted that is we can't forcibly take the resource from this uh, question we learn that it should not be forcibly taken away. So, process P1 has to hold R2 and process P2 has to hold R1. Next one, circular weight. The it, uh, circular weight word itself has meaning that the process in the system form a circular list or chain where each process in the list is waiting for the resource hold by the next process in the list. From this diagram only we can note P1 is holding R2 and it is requesting R1 and P2 holding R2 sorry P2 holding R1 and it is requesting R2. This diagram shows the clear picture of circular weight. Next one is mutual exclusion. In this one, at least one non-shareable resource should be there. But from this question, we learn what we learn? R1 and R2 are read-only files that are those those two resources are shareable that means there is no 
non shareable resource in this environment so it violates the rule called mutual exclusion that is nothing but a option a and these are all deadlock free environment conditions from this question what we learn what's meant by hold and wait what's meant by no preemption what's meant by circular wait and what is meant by mutual exclusion and the, we learn also all these conditions are deadlock free environment conditions thank you